Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. What? everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and I have good news! I actually have good news, a positive video to give you guys, finally! It's, it's been a bit, there's been a lot of drama and a lot of unhappiness, but I got some good news and I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. Um, I still want to do the uh, b almost broken five drops video tomorrow, so make sure to sub and check out the you know, channel for that tomorrow. But yes, um, there was a tweet after all the drama going on. I think um, the devs probably saw a lot of, you know, just the, the ugliness going on on social media uh, between like standard and wild for whatever reason, like I said earlier today, it was just ridiculous. Uh, but Alec Dawson tweeted this today. He uh, quote retweeted his schedule, his balance schedule over the next month where on August 31st, 31st, there would be the two world lock changes, which we saw to St uh, Steeler of Souls and Flesh Giant. And then from 831 to 910, so to uh, September 10th, there'll be um, evaluating the meta. So basically, uh, guys, calm down. We're going to evaluate the meta. And I did say in today's video earlier that I, I felt they were still looking at things, that there was still a chance things would get nerfed. So I wasn't throwing the devs under the bus this time. I mean, <laughs> we've been, we've been, we've been a little bit more aggressive towards them. I won't lie, but I, I didn't do that in the last video. And then uh, on September 10th, decide if changes are needed. And then later September, decided changes go live. So like mid-September later in the month. So uh, he tweeted this after quote retweeting this saying, uh, it's still the plan. Previous changes were an addendum on initial round, a uh, short window, no LOC. Uh, next full patch was created specifically for balance changes. Talking about many things, nerfs and buffs. Approach to wild is act in extreme cases, current case probably clearing that bar. And if they're saying that, you ever heard Ixar allude to it before? They're gonna nerf. They're gonna nerf for a while. They're, they're gonna they're gonna hit uh, Warlock, which is at that tier S ability. Uh, this change to Flesh Giant to ten hasn't really changed that, and that sounds like we will be getting a full on you know emergency wild nerf. It it takes a lot longer for them to act on wild. It's very frustrating. That's why the community is very vocal. They have been quick at times with like uh, Hysteria and Steeler Souls. They were actually pretty quick, but after all the drama, after all the, 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 uh, all the fighting and all this, it seems like we will get a change. Wild won't just be wild. It'll continue to be updated when it's, you know, one deck is just absolutely dominating and polarizing in the meta so i thought it'd be fun just to take a look at my predictions for what i think they could do for wild and then you know just talk about the rest of the balance patch because the other stuff is going to be just related to standard i i assume there'll be like one thing for wild and my prediction on what that one thing will be kind of depends on what they're going to do for standard because i don't think they're entirely sure yet because i i just can't i can't believe we'll look at the demon seed I cannot honestly believe that they can leave this card in its current state in standard, let alone for wild. It's still the it's still defining the meta. It's still like you could argue that the handlock deck. I played a, I got my legend climb done yesterday uh, with quest mage and quest uh, shaman, and I face a ton of warlock. It's still extremely powerful. It still does way too many things way too well. But the problem I keep running across having it with it is they have all these insane tools like the giants, they got the one mana 6-6 six, six taunt, they got insane healing, they got they got everything you'd want, draw, removal. It, it, it's just, uh, the problem I keep having is even if I remove every threat, which is really difficult to do, I'm not even rewarded with a victory because then I just died at really fastly scaling fatigue damage. And I feel like they got to address that part of it. I feel like the rest of the Warlock quest is fine. I feel like doing like any self damage effects going face is fine, but this fatigue part is just too much. It breaks the rules of Hearthstone, it eliminates control, and even if I destroy every minion they play and try and develop, I just die to their fatigue. And do you just ban the quest and leave it alone? You know, ban it in wild and leave it alone? Um, I'll, I'll highlight a, a tweet here by Luna. 
pro player that you know feels like you know there's gonna be a wild nerf but they gotta address the quests uh particularly you know warlock mage and shaman and um i feel like there might not be a ban i feel like they might just nerf the warlock quest i feel like that could realistically happen um or they might nerf it and ban it because like even if you take the fatigue element away you could still like just abuse it with giant uh dark lair you're not really worried about the fatigue strategy in that deck with the dark lair deck it's only like the cataclysm uh hand of gul'dan one that really abuses that so it's tricky um i don't think they have decided i think they'll definitely have to think it out i think there's a lot of things to consider but i do think they need to nerf the card i think they need to at least take the fatigue part off of it i think warlock should be able to do powerful things the handlock stuff is really cool like the giants the one mana six six taunt bristle bat all, all that stuff it's really cool I, I like the handlock aspect i like the board presence aspect of the deck i don't like the inevitability of losing to infinite fatigue damage and they don't have to build around it because what do you have to run backfire raise dead all of that so my suggestion and i guess my prediction is that they will nerf the warlock quest at some point and take the fatigue damage aspect off of it and just leave every other self-damaging aspect to the card that's what i would do i think that would be healthier for the game it would make it fair and then if we're looking at like balance patch wise for the game i think it's too early to really say but i do think they really need to look hard at the mage quest and the shaman quest i feel like the mage quest like the fact like i got legend with mostly actually uh, uh quest mage last night and the second i complete the quest my opponent dies like two turns later it, the spell damage is just too high i feel like spell damage plus three is just too much like maybe make it spell damage plus two. Like you scale it back a bit because it's just so easy to kill people. Your fireball does nine damage. Your 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 ignites do a ridiculous amount way too quick. Like it just scales too fast. So I don't know if you make the mage reward just less, like plus two spell damage, plus one spell damage. I don't know, but I feel like that's what you got to hit. Or maybe you make ignite shuffle like a copy and that copy can't be reshuffled or something. I don't know. But I feel like Mage and, and the Shaman quest, I don't know if you need it. Like the infinite value part of it is crazy, but the deck is just, it, it just destroys any board based deck. So I don't know if you like nerf a perpetual flame, make that like two mana. So it's not just like a one mana ridiculous board cleared. You just refresh your crystals anyways with either your first proc of a quest or uh, your tradable card. Like th there's, a, there's things you can do with Shaman other than just hit the reward, but you can make the reward the first spell of each turn or whatever. Um, but again, I feel like those are the things that scare me the most are those decks and you have like aggro priest, which is strong, but again, it's, it's very easy to counter you. If you have any controlling type strategies and if you nerf, you know, the mage shaman and warlock quest, then those control strategies can kind of slip back into the game. And then I guess we'll talk about the other thing buffs. What would you buff? I feel like buffs rarely ever do anything. And I'm looking at like what archetypes aren't performing that you would want to buff. And well, you have warrior in general like you have rush warriors doing all right no one wants to play it because it's an old deck and it's not that spectacular um but control warrior is bad big warrior is bad like every other warrior is bad the quest warrior is bad so do you buff a pirate do you buff a control card like without nerfing the quest it won't make a difference right so you got to nerf those and buff that so i could see warrior getting a buff um i don't know what else like a control priest a style card getting a buff a slower priest card maybe help quest priest i don't know but I would look at Priest and Warrior, maybe Rogue, uh, the Quest Rogue stuff. Maybe you like, I don't know, bump up an SI or something because the Quest Rogue stuff's really fun. Same with Quest Druid and just not seeing much play. So there's a lot of options. There's a lot of stuff to speculate. Let me know in the comments below what you think should get buffed and should get nerfed. But it looks like Wild is getting some help. Uh, won't be probably for a few weeks. They definitely have to figure out what they need to do um, because if they are going to nerf the Warlock quest again in standard, they might not need to ban it in wild and you can go from there, right? So um, I'm happy with the communication that Alec has kind of like, you know, fanned the flames on a lot of the toxicity going on social media. So really appreciate that. And got, it's good news. I'm, I'm happy that, you know, things are going in a better direction. We're getting the communication and um, hopefully some things can change. It'll be the third balance patch already, but... That's what they're doing with these crazy power level cards. Um, you got to adjust it a lot more often. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.